Hey guys, welcome back to another Spegic adventure. But when I first bought the car, um, you guys saw the overall condition of the car uh, via, you know, the introductory video. It looks super clean and there didn't seem to be any immediate flaws in the paint. Um, that seemed, you know, like it was a really big deal. And so after a few washes, I started noticing this really, really big splotch of discoloration on the trunk lid. I'm not sure if this discoloration was actually already on the car when I purchased it, or if it happened, and it just so happened to have happened on um, after I purchased the car. Um, when I took the MRS to the paint shop to get um, a quote and they took a look at it, um, they told me that it's possible that when you detail a car um, and you put a shit ton of wax on it, it that wax can essentially um, cover over the discoloration or any imperfections on the surface of the car. And over the course of a few washes, um, that product wore off and the imperfection kind of just uh, wasn't covered and so I was able to see it. So we're getting the car painted today and I want to show you the problem areas before we actually go get painted so you guys will be able to see the difference afterwards. So my main issue that I have with this car right now is the trunk panel. So you can see one of the areas here. It's a little bit hard to tell on camera, but it's pretty obvious in person. Um, it looks kind of like oxidation, clear coat peeling, and if I run my finger and hand over it, it's actually smooth. So that's, it makes me believe that it's probably coming from underneath the clear coat. The other issue is where the vents are. Um, Color-wise, there's a slight discoloration around these areas, but what's really obvious is, is if I run my finger over here, it's a lot more rough. You can kind of hear it. You hear that? It's like there's no clear coat left. Versus if I run my hand over here, you don't hear any sound. That's kind of how you can tell. Versus you see what I mean? And while I'm getting the trunk lid painted, I was also thinking about giving my bumpers, front and rear, uh, a paint job as well. And the price wasn't that bad. They're gonna go ahead and essentially bond over all the areas where I, you know, it was previously scratched up by the POs. So um, I was like, Okay, let's give it a go as well. So let me show you guys the um, the bumpers. You can see really bad scratches over here. It's already been kind of touched up with touch-up paint. This one's pretty bad over here. Some more down here on this corner as well. Right there. And also in that corner where the wheel is. Over here is a little worse. You can see the touch of paint again. And down here as well. And even further down here. Those are all the areas on the bumper that after the repaint would look a lot better. Um, obviously, I'm hoping to get the car ceramic coated after this, so um, we'll see how the paint kind of looks. I, my expectation is I'm not really looking for a 100% paint match. Um, because of cost reasons, um, we're not going to be blending the panels from the new paint to the old paint. So there might be a slight discoloration. Um, that's my expectation with that. But I'm hoping that it will be close to 90-95% match in terms of color and shine. Um, so we'll see how it goes. So I just turned the car over to the body shop, turned the key over to the body shop. And um, I actually didn't know that this car has been 
um, in some sort of damage before. Um, specifically the front bumper, it actually has been resprayed. And the rear bumper has uh, been in some sort of like minor collision. Um, let's take a look. So you can see here there is a gap between the quarter panel and the rear bumper. Kind of like sagging, falling off. Um, I actually didn't notice this before and it's probably from the PO maybe backing into something where these marks were caused and then this bumper just kind of sagged down. Same thing with, so with the front bumper, he was telling me that it, the body shop was telling me that it's been resprayed because you can see where they kind of taped it off right there. So they've taped it off, you can kind of see some paint over spray on the black plastic trims. Um, it's going to take them approximately uh, four or five days to get everything repainted and then we'll go ahead and pick it up and we'll see the results afterwards. After I dropped the MRS off to get repainted, um, they told me that it was going to take approximately five business day for them to turn the car back around for me and after about uh, after about a full week, they gave me a call saying the car was ready. I went to go check it out and there were some um, immediate issues that came up. Uh, first of all, I walked up to the car and I immediately noticed that um, my trunk lid was not painted. The area that originally, you know, was the main issue, it wasn't taken care of. And so I went up and I asked them, I was like, hey, um, you know, I specifically asked for the trunk lid to be painted and it hasn't been touched. And they were saying, and they looked at me and they were like, no, you got the hood repainted. And I was like, what? No, I specifically asked for the trunk lid to be painted. If you look at the trunk lid, there's this big splotch of discoloration. Like, how could you guys miss that? And so essentially what actually happened was when they were writing down the note, the person writing it wrote hood instead of trunk lid. And I can kind of see why, where the confusion came from because my car is mid-engine and the engine is like where the trunk is and so the person writing it was like probably wrote hood because he, maybe in his head he was thinking that you know hood is referencing where the the piece of panel is covering the engine and so essentially my front hood actually got repainted and my trunk lid did not get repainted so essentially what what happened then was like, okay, so are we going to repaint my trunk lid or not? Because that was the whole issue and now I have my front hood repainted that I was not asking to be repainted to begin with. And, you know, they, they owned up to their mistake and they're saying like, oh, you know, like that was totally our mistake. We, we, you know, there was some miscommunication issue. And so they got it taken care of and they said, okay, come back like, you know, a week later, we're going to go ahead and repaint the trunk. And, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, when you come back, we'll, we'll, you, you can take a look at it or whatever. Um, aside from that whole miscommunication mishap with the trunk lid and the front hood, there were also issues with the front bumper and the rear. Um, it, like, their detailer wasn't, like, in like in the shop at that time when I was dropping off the car so there were a lot of like running um, clear coat issues um, on the front and rear bumper and I pointed those out to them and they said they would take care of it as well so I said okay let me come back um, next week so this is two weeks out okay so two weeks out I went back and then the trunk lid was definitely repainted and it looked really good um, but then there were still some issues with um, the clear coat and there were still some like running paint issues um, and I pointed that out to them and then they had to go and fix it up again so essentially um, I had to leave my car with them for another week before they actually you know, was able to give me the final product. Um, my car essentially was supposed to have uh, been dropped off and to able to be picked up in a, in a week. It took about approximately 
three weeks to uh, for them to fully, you know, give me back the car in the condition that I was expecting. I just picked up the MRS back from paint and uh, let's go check out how it looks. First and foremost, let's take a look at the problem area, the reason why we even brought it in for paint. It's all gone. There's also clear coat missing from the vents, which now feels very smooth from the top coat. Next, the bumpers. Remember the rear bumpers had some issues, so obviously all that's been taken care of. Fresh coat of paint. Front bumper. Also looking really good. Here's a closer look at the paint. Taking a closer look at the paint quality. And uh, I'm quite happy with it because I'm not really looking for perfection, just perfect enough. And I'd say this paint job does that. Um, obviously, they didn't fill in some of the imperfections, so as I'm running my finger over it, I can feel a lot of dips, and in person, if you were way up close, you can see little uh, existing, pre-existing chips in the paint that might not pick up on camera. Oh, kind of saw one there just now. See that? So what you're seeing there, it's been painted over, but the texture has not been filled out from the bodywork, so it's still there. But for the amount that I paid and what I was expecting, it's pretty good. That wavy part there is where the MR2 Spider badge used to sit. And the paint shop told me that it's very hard to get um, the adhesive that was stuck onto the actual panel off. Um, and they tried their best and, you know, I'm not super mad about it because the emblems will be going back on, so it will be covered anyways. Same on this side, you'll see some waving. That's from where the Toyota badge sits. I actually want to um, sh uh, give him a shout out because, um, you know, mistakes happen and, um, you know, like it's human error, right? So, but they were able to own up to it and the final result of the pain is definitely, it exceeded my standard actually. And each time that I pointed out these mistakes to them, they owned up to it. And, um, you know, they were very willing to work with me as a customer. And um, they were, you know, super clear in, in, in terms of, you know, like wanting to continue to work with me, even though I feel like some of uh, my demands were very nitpicky. Over the course of those three weeks, I feel like uh, even though there were mistakes, they owned up to it. And I feel like this was definitely um, a shop that I would trust when I have, you know, uh, future cars that uh, future paint projects for other cars of mine. So um, I want to give a shout out to 101 Collision Center um, in uh, San Jose. They were super awesome. I worked with Chris and he was amazing in terms of, you know, wanting to meet the expectations I had. And at the very end, um, the whole team definitely exceeded my expectations. The paint quality, I think, given what I paid, uh, was definitely, I feel like, more than fair. Um, 
as you can tell by you know the, the video um, I, I think you guys can tell like the paint quality is amazing to anybody in you know the local San Jose area that wants to get a paint job or get something touched up I think um, they are uh, definitely a shop I would recommend